Stephanie, thank you very much. That's right, we've taken our show live on location here to Southwest University Park. El Paso Chihuahua is hosting the Sugarland Space Cowboys here for opening day 2023. That's right, and we're joined by General Manager Brad Taylor. Brad, how's it feeling for you, opening day? How do you feel? This is my 29th, and I still wow. feel the chills and the excitement. <laughs> we can't wait to ever get to opening day. It's like the birth of spring. The season's yeah. getting underway, and... It's just great to walk into this building that's now 10 years old and it still pops. The grass is really green. The new video board's fired up. It just looks great and it's just exciting. Brad, there's a lot that goes into a AAA season, 150 games if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. But it always just seems like opening day holds a special significance when it comes to baseball. What do you guys do to make sure that, uh, you know, that it is special and that significance does ring true here at Southwest University Park? Yeah, you're right. Opening day for us is also like being reunited with family. Like a lot of our season seed holders, we haven't seen for five or six months, right? Mm -hmm. Our game day staff, you know, they get welcomed back in here. And it's kind of like a reunion. So it's kind of a rebirth. And you get energized to see everybody. You have this common thing that we all love baseball and we love sports. Uh, and it's what unites us. You know, that's the whole reason this ballpark is built. It was meant to be a community center and it's proven to be that. Yeah, and we keep talking about 10 years, a decade, and you say that the fans are still excited as the first year, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, a lot of teams, years one, two, and three, they kind of do themselves, right? Mm -hmm. The hard work's when you get into years four, five, and mm -hmm. six, and can you sustain? And we've sustained going into year 10, and, and I'd like to think that's partly because of our work, but it's really because our city has embraced us. They love us. They continue to treat us great. They continue to come out here in droves. They continue to buy the merchandise and wear it when they travel. I mean, we're their team, and we're really proud to be that. Real quick, Brad, tell me about this year's team. We've talked about how spoiled we've been here in El Paso with some great baseball. Uh, fifth division title, of course, last year. What about this year's team? New manager, too. Yeah, Philip Weldman. That was also my first manager 29 years ago wow. in Huntington, West Virginia. Full circle. Wow. Yeah, very full circle. This team's going to be good. You know, if we stay healthy and the Padres stay healthy, they've got a pretty deep farm system, and especially up at the top. And uh, with some of these really talented guys that just missed out on being with the Padres for now, maybe they get there later, they're here. Yeah. So, you know, we've talked about this for a long time. The 750 best players in the world are in the major leagues. The next 750 best players in the world are in AAA, and you're going to see that right here in your town with the Chihuahuas. Awesome. awesome. We're so lucky. Thank you, Brad, for joining us. Yeah, thank you for being here. Happy opening day. Happy, Happy opening, opening day. day is right. Well, coming up, we are going to hear from the manager of the El Paso Chihuahuas, new manager, Philip Wellman. That's coming up and what we can expect here at the downtown ballpark all summer long. Stay with us.